welcome to Seeker Training. My name's Richard, and hopefully, I'm just going to check now, see if I'm recording. Excellent, so I thought I'd just do it outside, get the nice sunshine going, and hopefully we'll have some fun. So this is the recorded session, and I'm playing it whilst I'm doing a TRX just there. TRX is suspension equipment, but you don't need to know that. What I'm going to quickly talk about today is different types of fat. There are two main types, especially around the abdominal area. There's adipose fat, which is the stuff on the top. That's the loose, flabby stuff. And then you've got the visceral fat, which is the one around the internal organs. Too much of the visceral fat is really bad for you. And it also creates a really hard uh, belly. That is normally when you've actually got too much visceral fat or your liver could be damaged and uh, water seeping into the abdominal cavity and getting fatter. That's harder to get rid of, but it's not impossible. The easiest one is the actual uh, top flabby layer. That's what is normally burned in uh, cardiovascular workouts. So that was quickly that brief there. So today what we're going to do is we're going to be using dumbbells or the smaller ones a mat which you can't see at the moment is just in front of in front of me and water where I've got that I will be using this or this for uh, the axis 3 so if you want to get yourself a single dumbbell uh, quite heavy weight then that's up to you. So what we'll do is we'll do we've got 10 exercises, we'll do all in one go, three sets of it. So we're not going to do the core section afterwards because it's all got the core based in. I'm just going to have to put that on there because otherwise my, my notes will flip over. And let's start. So we're marching on the spot. So again, if you haven't seen, uh, if you haven't got the authorization for a doctor to actually get ex uh, to be allowed to be exercised, please do. If you can't see a doctor, you can always go below and uh, click on what's called the Park You Health Questionnaire. Fill that out, send it to me. We'll, I'll fill it out. Maybe contact you, ask a few questions, and then make sure that you're actually fit enough to uh, for a workout. You don't want to end up hurting yourself. This is all about fitness and health, not hurting. Okay, that's good. So higher knees. Excellent. I can't see my right in from here, so I'll have to keep bending over. Brilliant. Let's go to a wider stance, feet at 45 degree angle. Keep the arms moving. I hope the diggers of the buildings right next to me don't start revving up. This feels even odd. I know you're not there at the moment, as we're watching this you are, but I do feel it's a little bit lonelier, it really is, it feels off, but at least we're doing something. Brilliant. Now we're going to do some reach overs. So get that foot pointing outwards, nice diagonal, nice warm up. Right, for the first exercise, we will need the dumbbells in 1 minute 20 seconds. I should have read my notes before I started, shouldn't I? Brilliant, let's push forward now. So a little bob and push. Bob and push. Bob and push. Who's Bob, you say? I must admit. I've got a friend called Bob, but no, this isn't Bob. Brilliant. I'm enjoying the nice sun though. Cold in the morning, absolutely boiling in the afternoon. Excellent. So I'm going to show you, you look, keep marching on the spot. I'm going to show you the exercise. What we'll do, we'll do a reverse lunge with a twisting bicep curl. So a reverse lunge, twist, bicep curl. Up, swap sides. I'm going over the high knee, then back again, because then you'll actually get a bit more of a uh, rotational challenge. If you've got osteopenia or osteoporosis to the back, be careful, don't try and go too far. Right, 15 seconds of starting. 
I hope you can hear me, because at the moment the computer's in there recording. I have no idea what you're recording. Right, so I'm going to go slightly diagonally on, so you can see. So remember to twist over the front knee. And let's go. So down, twist, bicep curl. Up, down, twist, bicep curl. And let's keep going. Just miss that knee with the dumbbells. You can go quite far, but I like to go quite far back with my lunges. I get a better stretch of the old thigh. Try and keep upright. Don't lean over. Oh, oops. Excellent, good. So we're going to do is put the dumbbells down. And we've got to bum kicks. So bum kicks are where you're to bring your foot up towards your glutes. Try to lean forward, keep your tummy tight. You can either do it on one leg, or you can do it with a little bit of a, a run. I'm going to put a running, get a bit of cardio going. Ah, let's get going. The idea is to try to keep those glutes. Ah, that's it, keep it going. 20 seconds. So a beautiful butterfly here yesterday. Almost like a cabbage pie, but with orange tips. It's nice in this lockdown that nature can be coming back in such a force. It just shows that we're doing so many things wrong. But that's not a political platform. Let's just leave it at that. And let's change. So we're going to go for bleed jacks. Sorry, axis three, sorry. I've changed it. So I'm going for the heavier cushion. And the uh, axis three is tummy tight, curl, press, extend, and back down again. And let's get going. So again, curl, press, extend. Try not to lean back when you get above your head. Don't lean back like that. You're going to injure your back. Keep your tummy tight. I'm kicking my hat. I'm taking it off, I haven't cut my hair. But most of you probably haven't either. Or if you have, you're probably on YouTube saying, Oh, look what I've done! Five seconds. Three, two, one. Brilliant, and down. So we've got another cardio section here. We're going to do oblique jacks. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our hands up behind our ears, not behind our head, because otherwise you're going to pull your head down. What we're going to do is we're going to bring one knee up and one elbow down. So you're going to crunch in the side, hip and obliques. And if you want to do it like that, you can do it ordinarily. Let's get going. Or you can put a little bit of a bob to get the cardio going. The higher your knee goes, careful you don't smack yourself in the face. Again. With back problems, I would only go a little bit slow like this. Don't do jarring actions when you've got back problems. Five, three, two, one. Brilliant. Now, what have I got? Right, we're going to need the mat for this. So, I'm going to bring the mat up. What we're going to do is go lie on the side. One hand underneath us, one hand in front. We're just going to go leg up, leg down. Leg up, leg down, working that hip. And the outside of your thigh. So your core tends to be between your knees and your shoulders. So we're going to change in three seconds. Two, one, quick change. I just spit on my bottom. It. You don't have to be as fast as that. I'm probably talking to you now with the camera half cutting off my head. That's probably a blessing on your side. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Brilliant. Right, we're going to stay on the ground. I'm going to go back to the single heavy dumbbells. 
I will move slightly down this way. But you can use the other dumbbells. What we're gonna do, we're gonna it's called a three-way, I call it a three-way prone press. So we're gonna press down together. Up, down, and up. So it's down, front, up. Let's go. Anyone with bad shoulders might want to admit this one. Down, up, or bum. Yeah, let's use that. Down, up, or bum. Brilliant. I can't see my clock at all because the sun's shining on it. Not that I'm complaining. Brilliant. Keep it going. Excellent. I'm glad that today I can actually hear her. Right, and let's change. It's the old clock, so she will say rest instead. So we're going to do Frankensteins next. Frankensteins. What they are is you kick out, opposite leg, opposite hand. If you can't do that, just bring your knees up to your elbows. And so we're going to go one, two, three. So you're going to work your obliques as you go down. Keep them nice and tight. And your abdominals and your hips. Trying to keep your back straight. Don't try and lean over as you do it. You're leaning by your hip, uh, by your waist, not by your shoulders. So remember, if you're having problems with this, go to elbows and knees. That's it. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Brilliant. How do you find that? Good. So we've got three more exercises left. My favourite's coming up now, Penguin Crunch. So we're going to get down on the floor, feet wider than shoulder width apart. Some people call it heel taps. We'll lift our shoulders off the floor, arms out to the side, and we're going to tap our heels. So you're, so you're rotating as though you've got a big sphere in your stomach and you're trying to get out of it. So what we're doing is working the upper part of the abdominals, and the upper oblique. To make it harder, you can move your feet farther away, so you've got a really twist. Ten seconds left. Try not to kill your chin in like this. That full of pressure on your neck. Brilliant, right, we're going to flip over onto our stomach this time and do the reverse penguin crunch. So ladies, I'm sorry, but this might be a bit uncomfortable in your uh, bosom area. So we're going to keep our legs together. We're going to bring our shoulders up, looking directly in front of us, arms out to the side. We're going to touch our thighs. Now let's go. So we're doing the back this time. Doing what's called the quadratus laburnum. Two triangular muscles either side of the top of your hips, your iliac crest, and the small of your back. I think we've got one more exercise after this. And then it'll be water break. I really hope this is recording. Seven seconds. Four. Excellent, good. Right, last exercise is, so flip over now. What we're going to do is, we're going to do jackknives. Pull jackknife is, you balance on your bottom, and you bring your knees up, and crunch it in. Okay? If you have problems with that, put your hands behind you, and then just concentrate your legs in. If you need a, a chair, you can do it on the chair. So let's get going. It's hard to get balance, especially when you're looking all over the place like I am. That's it, good, keep it going, you've got 20 seconds left. You don't have to do it like this, remember? You can always put your arms back, or you can even do it one leg at a time. 12 seconds left. Five. Three, two, one, and water break time. 
How are you not feeling? I'm feeling very warm now. Gosh, it's warm. I keep the head dehydrated. Thins the blood. Allows you to actually expel heat faster. So you can keep on going for longer. Don't we get, don't we get dehydrated? Time. And we're also trying not to stop. On the rest periods, keep moving, eh? just ever so slightly. Keep your blood flowing, keep your body warm. Cooling down is the worst thing because you don't want to warm up again, you've just wasted that warm up for the first time if you cool down. So we're going to go back to the dumbbells. Reverse lunge with a twisting bicep curl. Right, in 20 seconds. Keep on walking. I hope they're not going to start the uh, digger up, otherwise, I'll have to shout. Three seconds. Two, one, and go. So remember to twist over the, the knee that's the front. That's it, keep on going. Keep nice and upright. Brilliant. Doing well. You know those people, they don't lose. 15 seconds. Seven. Five. Three. Two. One. Brilliant. Right, we're going to go to bum kicks. I'm going to move the mats forward again. I don't want to destroy them with the bum kicks. Yeah, Ooh, it's getting very warm now. So remember, bum kicks. Bring it up. Trying to get him impact into your glutes. Ah, uh, let's go. I'm going to go into a run again. As you can see. I'm actually bouncing off the balls of my feet rather than impacting my, my, my heels so I'm keeping the spring going. Protecting my knees, protecting my hips. It's all about protection. It's bad technique that leads to injuries. I'm doing too much weight. 10 seconds. Five. Three. Brilliant, right, we'll rest, we'll go to axis three. So I'm going to go to my big weight again. Remember, you can have dumbbells instead for this. We have curl, press, extend. I'm going to go hip and trendy, so I don't knock my hat off. Now I'm, a, I'm a down with the boys. Oh, let's go, so it's curl, press, extend. That's it, keep it going. You do have to drink more water when it's hotter. Simple low thermodynamics. Fifteen seconds. Twelve. Ten. Five. Three. Two. One. Brilliant, let's change exercise. We're going to do the oblique jacks. So remember, it's up to the side. You're going to bring it up to the side so your knee comes out. Not forward, unless you have problems with your knees. Then you just bring it forward like that. Okay, so oblique jacks, let's go. I'm going to put the hop in. Sometimes it's good, especially uh, ladies, if you're having problems with things moving too much, you can always double bra 
always works, but never wear a wired one. It can cause injuries. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Brilliant. Right, I forgot what we're doing now. Ah, we're on the mat. So it's prone legless. If it was prone legless with a, with a Mary or sauce, that would be really nice about now. So, leg lift, ah, let's go. 20 seconds each side. Try and get it as high as you possibly can. Try not to rotate the foot up or downwards. Seven seconds of changing. Three, two, one, and change. That was a good change over. Keep up the good work. I need a new book of platitudes, I'm sure of it. I'll put it on my Christmas list. Or post-lockdown present. Three, two, one. Excellent, good. So we're going to do three-way prone press. Again, it's down, up, and above. Again, I'm going to go cool. That was not my hat off last time. Keep your tummy tight at all times. And down, up, above. So you can see it's a nice straight line. We're not arcing. It's about control. Because this is how you would put things on the shelf, move things. You wouldn't go like this to do it. You bring it up, out, or up. That's what this is all about. Five seconds. Two. What? Brilliant. So back up to Frankenstein's. Anyone who wants to stay down on the ground because you find it hard to get up, you can always do scissor twists. Okay. So if you want to do that, you can do. I'm going to get up and do the Frankenstein's. Are you ready? Three, two, one, and go. So basically the same exercise. It's a little bit harder while standing up because you're gravity to fight. And you can get a bit more uh, spinal flexion, which means bending forward. Oh, yeah, got the right one then. 20 seconds. So remember, I don't mind if you're down on the ground. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one. And now he's back down on the ground. Penguin crunch. So I'm going to slightly go in this direction. So you can see from a different angle. Might not be able to see my foot a little bit. That must have been that's probably the best view of me ever. So shoulders off the deck and let's touch those heels. So remember, you want to make it harder, bring your feet further away, further out. Or, Bring your arms further out as well. Really work yourself. If you want to work even harder, you can do it. You think off the ground, but you get more of a wobble. Or do the dumbbells. And that really does tax your upper obliques. In five, three, Two, one. one. Brilliant. Right, so we're going to flip over again for reverse penguin crunch. I'll again go at an angle as long as I don't grip my face on these pebbles. So my feet are together, pointed together. If you point them together, it takes the glutes out of the up, uh, equation. And we're just going to go from side to side. Because when you put your feet together like that, your, your glutes tense. So you can't really use them. The twisting. <laughs> There's a hover fly right above me. Probably right in the angle. Brilliant. 20 seconds left, halfway through.
12 seconds left. 10, 7, 5, 3, 2, 1. Brilliant. We're going to flip over now for the jack knives. As well as you want to do the easy version, hands behind. And you can either go single leg up, alternating both legs. Try not to really throw yourself forward. Don't want to throw that back out. Or the full version is just resting on your laurels, really. But then the rest of you is working. Let's get going. Again, try not to smack yourself in the chin. Did that once by doing it hard. It doesn't half hurt. 30 seconds. Oh, I'm starting to itch just with the air fever out here now. 20 seconds. 15. Keep it going. You can see I'm getting tired and my legs are going further and further down. 5. 3. 2. 1. And water break time. So yes again I'm going to move the mats back out. I do that. I put it back in my look like a magic trick. It'd be green. But you probably saw it as I spun it over. So straight after this I'm going to do another video recording session for uh, Fabius and Frugal. I hope I got that right. Uh, the beginning uh, exercise video for them, how to actually do it on a shoestring and do a short workout as well. So look out for that. Once they've posted it, I'll post it or post a link to their website or their Instagram go from there because they are doing something good they are tr trying to help people on low go. income or people who just want to save a penny and that's the main thing see a lot of people come into personal training for the money I come in for helping people so that's why I think if you help someone they'll help you in five seconds, we're going to go again to reverse lunge with the uh, torso twisting bicep curl. Ah, let's go. Ah, so keep it going. I'm going to be absolutely shattered after the next one. <laughs> Seventeen seconds. Ten seconds. Five. Three. Two. One. Brilliant. Right bum kicks. So remember, try to get up to your glutes. I find this quite good about my knee problems because as long as you don't lock your leg out as you come back, what you're doing is you're stretching the bike, how you're trying, oh, that's your biceps, your thighs to actually allow more room for your knees to move. So let's get going. I'm going to put a hop into it. I've got the hop wrong then. I'm all out to the kill time now. So it's kicking up. Yeah, I completely lost, lost my rhythm then. Sorry about that. Ten seconds. Five. Three. Two. One. And let's change to Axis 3. It's not Axis 3, A X I S. Has an axis of a uh, coordinate. So it's three parts. So it's press, Ooh. curl, press, and extend. Hands on backwards. And um, let's get going. Curl, press, and extend. You know, you should probably think that if I'm recording this, I should be able to edit it out. But no, that's not me. I'm the person who makes the mistakes, and they should own up to it. 
That's what you need. Curl, press, extend, keeping that back nice and straight. Excellent, I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a good weekend. Brilliant, so we've got oblique crunches coming up next. So oblique jacks. Remember, coming up sideways. If you're having problems, you know, it's just going to oblique crunches. So a lot of these exercises are very oblique heavy, mm -hmm. hip heavy, and spinal, uh, spinal extension heavy. So it's up to you. So let's get going. There we go, I've got my balance back now. Twenty seconds left. Ten seconds. Five. Three. Two. One. Brilliant. Big leg like up. Got those finished over and done with. Right. So. Ta da! Needs there we go. Magic. So, front lateral leg lifts. This is the dirty mat. And go. This is the first mat I ever had. It's like a security blanket. I had it got it with the wee, with the wee fit when I first started losing my weight. And changing three, two. One and change. Good thing is, whilst we're down here, we can stretch down here. Ten seconds. Are you feeling all right? I'm starting to feel a bit fatigued in my, in my hips and thighs now. So I hope you also are right. Two. One. And let's rest for a second. Three way prone press. Sure, remember that one. It took me ages to come with that name. So I'll move down. Remember, do cap, and press down, up, above. Nice and easy. The biggest slide rule. Going down, up, and above. Try not to impact yourself in the throat like I just did. Brilliant. Keep it going. You notice my back's completely flat to the floor because I've got a neutral pelvis. You don't want to be arcing it too much like that. You don't want to be shoving it into the ground. That shows that you've actually got a problem with your pelvic floor. That includes men and women. And let's call that one a day. Right, we're going to do them all on the floor now. So we'll do the Frankensteins instead. We're going to do the scissor twists. So we may as well stay down here. I'm quite enjoying it. The sun's gone in, the clouds are here, but it's still hot, it's still bright, and it's still nice. Ah, let's go. So it's up. Diagonals. If you have problems with this, go to the knees. Almost like a bicycle crunch. Keep it going. Brilliant. Eight seconds left. Gosh, I'm thirsty now. Three, two, one. Excellent. Good. So we've got penguin crunches. We can stay on our back. That's the first rule of dehydration. If you feel thirsty. It's too late, you're already dehydrated. So you, so you'll always probably get to that point, because you always think you're bad enough. Now oh, let's go with the penguin crush. Crunch, not crush. You get chocolate everywhere if you crush a penguin. 
But yes, if you feel thirsty, that's because your body's already realised that and told your hormones are telling your brain that you're thirsty. So then your lips start drying out. And it's way too late. But if you can get liquid in your body quickly, a little pinch of salt will get it into your body faster. Especially because it absorbs it faster in the lower intestine. But only a pinch. Himalayan pink salt's the best. Two. One. And reverse penguin crunch. So I can tell you a quick way of doing a, a sports uh, energizer ice type drink. Get one of these. About a litre. Fill it with two fingers of uh, sugared cordial. And let's go. If you don't have sugared cordial, you don't drink cordial and put a teaspoon of honey in. Then a pinch of salt, maximum of a quarter of a teaspoon. Mix it up and you've got yourself an isotonic drink for about oh, less than seven pence a litre. Better than £1.50 or something like that for 500 millilitres. And all you get there is pure sugar. I use the honey because it's uh, easily absorbed into your system and bypasses your kidneys and liver so you're not damaging those. Excellent, that's that done. And last one, jackknives. Shall we be nice? Yeah, let's be nice. I'm a nice person, I am. Just ask my class goers. I'm a lovely person. So what we're going to do is we're going to go outside and we're going to lift one knee up. Let's go. If you didn't do it, try not to impact your shoe, your feet together. Those of you observing already knew that I was doing that. So we're going to change sides in three, two, one, change sides. my finger, I must have done it down here somewhere. Ten seconds left. Five, three, two, one, and cool down time. Since we're quite warm, it's a good idea to cool down properly. So I'm going to exit the timer. What we're just going to do is just going to get our back, our knees up, and just slowly move our legs. There we go. You can hear someone snoring. Wake up. That's it, good. Get your heart rate down. I can feel mine coming down quite nicely. And the birds are singing. <laughs> like on cue. I think it's a binge up there. Right. So we're going to go legs nicely flat. What? We'll do our little oh, busby. Right, we're going to do our hamstrings, so one leg up, nice and flat, if it kinks, lay it down a bit and then pull it back. Only do stretches till they're uncomfortable, not until they hurt, so that, that way you're actually doing more damage to them. Don't do as I'm doing with my head up like that because that puts pressure on your back. I, I normally do that just to watch people in the class, and I'm just so used to it. I shouldn't. Pull this a little bit more. Try and keep that leg straight. Oh. Three, two, one. Pull that knee into your chest, heel into your glutes, and squeeze those glutes. I think some insects think of a flower. do is we're going to bring both knees up, put the knee, your leg we're just using, put the ankle on the knee a bit, what we're going to do is we're going to press the knee away and lift that foot up off the ground. If that's not pressuring you enough, just put a little bit of pressure on that knee to press it back towards the ground. You should feel it in your hip. Quite a nice stretch. Put the serpine S. Serpine eight. Surfine four. No, surfine four. It's like a figure four. I completely lost it then. I think 
gonna need a coffee. Or a bourbon, or both. Right, let's swap legs. So we've got hamstring curl, hamstring crunch. See, so yeah, I really have lost it now, I'm calling it a curl. Try not to bunch your shoulders up whilst you're doing this. Serpine four in three, two, one. So opposite knee up. If you like you're crossing your legs, press down and lift that other foot up. Our chest out, shoulder blades down, really stretch back, try to stretch those obliques, sorry the uh, abdominals, and your chest and your shoulder. And what we're going to do is we're slot, go slightly back to the side as well to stretch those obliques. Just be careful if it's painful, don't do this one. And just rotate it back. So you're pulling slightly on the other one. Right. Two. One, back up straight, now up to the sky. Loads of bees around now, lovely. Had a honeybee in yesterday. Let him go. And release. And thank you very much all for coming. I hope this is recorded and I hope you enjoy this. Back to usual uh, on Wednesday, 9.30 on this channel recorded for YouTube so hopefully I'll see you then and I hope you will have a nice safe time keep your social distancing but don't keep your internet distancing see you later bye for now <laughs>